Having traveled to over 200 different amusement parks, I've accumulated quite the collection of theme park t-shirts. In this video, I wanted to highlight the top 20 t-shirts that I personally own. The shirts will be ranked in no particular order, these will just be 20 that stand out to me. The first one I want to talk about is Son of Beast. Typically I don't buy t-shirts for rides that I haven't ridden, I feel like it sort of jinxes it. In the case of Son of Beast, my mom knew I was an avid coaster enthusiast and she bought me this shirt when I was in the first grade I believe. So obviously I wasn't tall enough to ride Son of Beast at that time, and by the time I eventually made it to Kings Island, the coaster had been torn down. But I do admit, I loved this coaster's logo, and especially how they continued the story of the Beast, so I still do enjoy this shirt. The next shirt I want to talk about is Steel Phantom. This is another ride that I technically haven't ridden, but I sort of feel like I've ridden the spirit of it. At Kennywood, they don't have much merchandise for their current attractions. Oddly enough, they have plenty of merchandise for their old rides. They had more Steel Phantom t-shirts than Phantom's Revenge t-shirts. They had more t-shirts for the Log Jammer. They had t-shirts for Laser Loop, but you couldn't find anything for the current rides. Usually I'm not a big fan of black shirts, but I really like how the blue track and yellow train really pop out of the shirt. Moving on to my home park, I want to highlight two items. The first is a sweatshirt for the Yankee Cannonball. I love how it has the old paint scheme when I first rode the Yankee Cannonball with the yellow side rails. Now those have been painted and Canopy paints those rails every few years. I also just love when I can find anything for Canopy because their merchandise for their rides doesn't tend to be particularly strong. That being said, there is another Yankee Cannonball shirt that I really loved. After I first rode the roller coaster in 2000, I found this t-shirt for the ride and I loved it. I also love how the park took the ride's logo and put the American flag in the inside to color in. That was a really nice touch. I also love how you can see the silhouette of the ride's lift hill and first drop with the fireworks above it and the can in the middle. It really makes the shirt pop. Another New England ride I want to highlight is Dragon's Descent. This ride has some sentimental value to me because this drop tower freaked me out for years. For whatever reason, I was okay riding drop towers that shot you up like Star Blaster at Canby Lake Park, but it really freaked me out to get shot down. So once I finally conquered my fear, I made sure to get a t-shirt. And I love the design of this shirt, with the drop tower and the dragon clinging onto the ride vehicle at the top. One of the shirts I got rather recently that I really like is this El Toro t-shirt. Usually I don't like coaster shirts that list the stats on them, even that's a little too nerdy for me. But I don't mind in this case because it's done very tastefully and off to the side. What I really like about this shirt is how it has the ride's logo, the park name, the really angry bull off to the side, and one of El Toro's legendary camelbacks. This coaster shirt is really nice looking. I also really like my Stormrunner t-shirt from Hershey Park. While it doesn't really show any of the coaster, I just love Stormrunner's logo and that's an awesome name. At Knobles, I love my Phoenix t-shirt. I love how you have the coaster's first drop in the background with the coaster's name in the foreground and the park name. It's done really nicely and I love how it uses the different shades of green to contrast. I also love this other General Knobles Park shirt. I just love how it has so many of the park's rides. You have Phoenix, Twister, and Impulse, but you don't have just the coasters. You have one of their awesome carousel horses and the train in the background. It really shows that Knobles is a full and complete park. Another sweatshirt I really like is this one for Millennium Force. Not only is it extremely warm if I'm going to a park on a colder day, but I just love how it has the Millennium Force logo popping out with three different pictures of the ride in the background. It just looks really cool with the black and blue. Cedar Fair also did a really good job with merchandise for Copperhead Strike, and I absolutely love this design. The ride has a really convoluted theme. You'd think it'd refer to a snake, especially since it's in the logo. But in reality, the Copperhead in the name refers to Grandma cooking moonshine in her barn. I really like how they put the coaster inside a moonshine jar and kept the snake logo in there because I really like that logo. One of my other favorite coaster shirts is for Lightning Rod. Not only is it quite possibly my favorite roller coaster I've ever ridden, but this coaster is an awesome logo. I love the text and color palette that Dollywood decided to use, and I also love the flaming hot rod in the bottom. And then in the background, you can see Dolly's humps, the first and second drop of Lightning Rod. Another Hershen Park that I really like the merchandise for is Silver Dollar City, but my favorite shirt from there is the one I got for Outlaw Run. The shirt has a really old-time rustic feel to it, and I really like a lot of things this shirt does. It has the ride's name, the park name, some of the ride's elements, the ride's opening year, 
and it has a silhouette of the ride's awesome first drop. Plus, it's a really soft t-shirt. Moving on to Disney, I have quite a few t-shirts from there. One of my favorites is this one for Walt Disney World. You have Chip and Dale on it, which are two of my favorite Disney characters, and they do it in a very clever way. Dale's head is popping out the front, and on the back, you can see Chip lifting Dale up so he can pop his head out the front. I thought it was a really neat way to get both chipmunks on the same shirt. I also really like this Slinky Dog Dash t-shirt I have. Now, I tried to find a Slinky Dog Dash t-shirt at Disney's Hollywood Studios after I rode the ride, but unfortunately, I couldn't find any. The closest I found was this really awkward Toy Story Land t-shirt where you can see Slinky's dog in like the top diagonal corner of the shirt, and then his body extends on the back, and it had the Toy Story logo in the bottom corner as well. It was really weird seeing the shirt have the elements in the diagonals as opposed to the center. So I found this t-shirt on Etsy that I absolutely loved. For one, Slinky Dog is one of my other favorite Disney characters. Two, I think it's one of the most adorable roller coaster trains of all time. And three, I really like the ride. One of the other Disney t-shirts I really like is this one for Tower of Terror. I did buy this one at the park. Not only is it one of my favorite Disney rides of all time, but I just love this t-shirt's design whenever you can take a ride I love and mix in the Disney characters. I also got this awesome t-shirt from Disneyland Resort. It's just a simple t-shirt with a park name and the castle, but it really is the happiest place on earth and my favorite amusement park in the world. Moving over to Europe, I don't have too many t-shirts from over there because the sizing's a little bit different, but I did get this one at Europa Park that I absolutely love. This is for Silver Star. Not only is it a B&M hyper coaster that I really enjoyed, but I thought this logo was absolutely clever. They took the Superman logo, and then they put Silver Star in the middle, and then they put the coaster's track all around the S. I can wear this to comic book conventions and people think it's for Superman until they look too closely. I think it was a really neat way to use the Superman logo and combine it with a coaster train. Honestly, I wish Six Flags did this when they built their Superman ride of steel rods. Another coaster shirt I absolutely love from Europe is this one for Colossus at Heidi Park. I thought this coaster shirt was going to be a bit too chaotic for me, but I really liked the ride and this was the best shirt I could find. And the more I looked at it, the more I really like it. I just love how it has the giant camelbacks and you have the flaming monster on the other side of the shirt. But my favorite coaster t-shirt of all time has to be this one for Dueling Dragons at Islands of Adventure. I miss this ride dearly and this was an awesome shirt. You have the two dragons facing off, and their bodies morph into the coaster track in the background. You also have the castle there that represent the awesomely themed queue line. But this t-shirt has also got me an advantage at Universal Studios. The first time I went after Dueling Dragons was removed, I went to go ride the Hulk. And a coaster employee was working the ride. Once he saw my t-shirt, he brought me and my girlfriend up the elevator and got us on the next train, allowing us to bypass an hour queue line. That was incredible. I've heard of people getting free drinks at a bar with the shirts they wear, so I guess this was the amusement park equivalent getting to skip a long queue line. Now, I want to mention an honorable mention t-shirt. This is the t-shirt from Mind Eraser at Six Flags New England. And this shirt is spectacularly awful. Not only do I not like how the Mind and Eraser are merged into one word, but look what coasters in the background. That is not a Vacoma invert. That appears to be Viper at Six Flags Magic Mountain, or some other random arrow looper, and I find that hysterical that Six Flags couldn't even put the correct ride in the shirt, which is why I bought it, because it was good for a laugh. Now, I know I said this video was about my favorite roller coaster and amusement park t-shirts and sweatshirts of all time, but there is one other clothing item that I got in an amusement park that I need to highlight, and it's my slinky dog hat from Tokyo Disneyland. Tokyo Disneyland's merchandise is insane. They have hordes of merchandise for every single character, no matter how obscure they are. So imagine my shock to see Slinky Dog merchandise, and more specifically, this goofy, oversized hat. When you go to Disney, you want to get in the Disney spirit. And there seemed like no better way to get in the Disney spirit than to wear this giant, oversized, goofy Slinky Dog hat. He has his big nose out front, big eyes, ears flapping in the wind, and he also has this giant, oversized hat on top of him, so this hat is huge. And in the back, you have his little body flapping as I walk around the park, complete with a springy tail. This hat is absolutely adorable, and I love it. So those are my favorite roller coaster and amusement park clothing items I've ever gotten. Mostly t-shirts, but again, I had to highlight this slinky dog hat. 
What are your favorite roller coaster or amusement park clothing items you've gotten over the years? I would love to hear what you've gotten down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you gave it a like and consider subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.